Hi friends, Anu here for HD Tech video. Today I am here for flashing JW1 base ROM from Darkey for i9000 and i897. So today uh, Fisato released the latest version and it's the base ROM. The extra features uh, will be available through OTA app. Uh, so we can download the firmware JW1 and I have the copy this is the one and it's almost 197 MB currently I am on uh, darkest JVQ and I copied JW1 into my SD card JW1 base now we can boot into a recovery mode you can see now I am on recovery mode so go to advanced then wipe Dalby cache select yes now go back wipe data per factory reset yes wipe cache partition yes now select install C from SD card choose C from SD card select JW1 base dot zip yes now the installation is finished so we can reboot go back reboot system Now the phone is rebooted. Okay, agree. Next. Next. Let me put the password. coming with the darky OTA app GTI 9000 2.3.6 XS JVT kernel 2.6.357 i9000 XWJVEZ dark core 4.2.1 JVEZ and bill number XWJW1 this is darkest OTA app
suppose if you are on a stock row um, stock row 2.3.6xxjvt and bill number xwjv is it so if you are on stock row then flash with a custom kernel I prefer a semaphore kernel you can just flash it boot into download mode boot into download mode then connect the phone and select PDA as the kernel here I selected then click start now the phone will reboot can see kernel version is semaphore jvx 2.0.0 you can see the jw1 base dot cpc here in my sd card now boot into recovery now I'm on recovery. Go to advanced. Wipe dive cache. Yes. Go back. Wipe data bar factory reset. Yes. Wipe cache partition. Yes. Now install SIF from SD card. Choose SIF from SD card. Select JW1 base dot zip. Yes. Now the installation finished and phone is uh, rebooting. Now it's rebooted. We can check the version. GTI 9000 2.3.6 XSJVT Dark Core 4.2.1 JVZ and build number XWJW1. So hope you guys enjoy this video. Then please do comment and do subscribe. Thank you.